What's up, Pirate Nation? Arrow Pirate here, and I know it's been a week since I posted a video, but school has begun, so you know. Anyways, though, it's been a week since I posted my last video, which was a video where I played the Gravity Falls theme on a kazoo. So if you haven't watched that, go check it out. It's called Nostalgia Time. But today I'm doing a review, and as you saw from the title, it is a Lego poly bag. I didn't review which reveal which one because I wanted it to be a surprise. But you may see it in the thumbnail anyways, but this is the Lego Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Shang-Chi and the Great Protector. Now this says 55 pieces and retails for I think 2 or $3 in the US where I got it at Meijer. And yeah, so let's take a look at the minifigure and then the build itself. Alright, so the main minifigure and the only minifigure in that case of this set is Shang-Chi. And yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. He comes with this golden bow, this golden bow staff. And we've got a lot of those pieces, but yeah, he also comes with regular plain black pants, which that's fine, and this black hairstyle, which is pretty, which is pretty common. But this is a very cool new vest piece that he has, and he's got this face, which is like this on one side, and then like this on the other side. So here I'd say he looks like a little skeptical, and then here I think he's, I'd say he looks like angry or determined. But yeah. Then we put the bow back in his hand, and onto the build itself. And here is the build of the Great Protector. I think that's what they called it. And yeah, it's like a little dragon, which I think is similar to the one that was in the bigger set that retails for, like, for I think, 40 or $50. Anyway, I'd say my favorite part of this entire set is probably this new piece, which you guys saw in the Iron Monger review I did. And it's for the new Iron Man piece, but it works perfectly here, because... This is supposed to, like, it looks like it's supposed to come around water on the poly bag by a river. So this actually makes perfect sense. It's got a lot of positionable movement, and it's like an actual Chinese spirit dragon. I think that's what they're called. But they're like those dragons that are like, I don't know how to explain them. But I also like how they used this um, battle droid body for the jaw and the horns and the head. Like, for the head itself. I thought it was really cool how they did that. And yeah, and if you're wondering what this is, well that is because you can take Shang-Chi here and put him on top of the dragon so he can ride it. Anyways, now let's move on to the instructions and then I will give my final opinion. So the instructions are nothing special, just the random instructions. Uh, just tells you how to build the set and there's no advertisements for any of the other sets, just the normal, uh, just what was on the poly bag and what's on the back of every other LEGO instructions. So yeah, now to the final thoughts. So yeah, for final reviews, as I don't have any of the other Shang-Chi sets, uh, I can't really say how I'd compare it to this one, but compared to other LEGO poly bags that they've done in the past, I'd just say I love this one most. Because it's been a while since we've actually got something like this. Like, lately when I'm going to other stores where I've seen the poly bags, I've been seeing nothing but cars and, tra and trains, little things like that. And I've also seen, like, way too many of those... Mario mushroom pack thingies, and while the Mario series does look cool now, it's kind of just a boring little pack as there's nothing else you can really do, it's just regular mushroom and some regular grass pieces for the Mario figures. Either way though, this is like a very cool set, and I'd have to say this is probably a very, it's probably one of my favorite Marvel poly bags. And yeah, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Remember to smash the subscribe button, hit the like button as well, tell me in the comments for that you want. Go subscribe to Tyler in DMJ, and I will. Oh, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't know when it will be, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!